watch this video and reflect over it because as genuinely terrified me you know what we all have secrets and if we calculate and put it in a scale the secrets of good deeds we have with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are a really and extremely in few numbers we may not even have any single secret Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we love to boost on our good deeds and show it to people based on the hadith that we should be doing a lot of secret good deeds that no one knows except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but this is completely opposite with all of us unfortunately we don't have good secrets Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but we have horrible wrongdoings which we have done privately that nobody knows except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what terrifies me is two things number one the secret that we have done we have done it and the witness is Allah who is judge and witness and there's no one between it the second thing that generally terrified me was the quote of Imam al-Shafi rahimullah wa ta'ala where he said there's an ayah in the Quran which should terrify every person who has done things wrong in a privately secretly and he was which ayah he says in the Surah Maryam ayah number 64 he says wa ma kana rabbuka nasiya subhanallah that your lord does not forget your lord is not forgetful everything we do it's accounted and he remembers and the judge the judgment we will be questioned so now my i ask myself how many secrets do i have which i count as a good deed only with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and wallahi i would not even number it because i'm too ashamed to number them they are extremely few and in fact zero and if how if i literally count my own secrets of sins wrongdoing transgression against my own soul and those records Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala secretly they are in big in numbers like mountains and may Allah forgive me for that may Allah forgive all of us so this reminders to myself and to everyone is what is our secret with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how many good secrets do we have with him and we should be proud going in the day of judgment hoping for his mercy because we have these secrets with him and we should be terrified for the secret that we have done that nobody knows except Allah who is the judge and witness both May Allah forgive us and grant us goodness and ability to do more secret good deeds rather than secret sins.